Number three, x over y equals six for quantity y plus one equals x. If x, y is the solution to the system, what is the value of y? So we want to know what y is here. So, okay, well, we could solve for y. We know y equals x over six in this case for the first equation. And I can plug in for y. Actually, better yet, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to solve for x so we ultimately get y. x equals 6 times y, multiplying both sides by y. And I'm going to plug that back in for x in the second equation right there. So 4 times quantity y plus 1 equals 6y. Now when I solve, I'm actually solving for the answer to the question. Okay, so first I have to distribute. 4 times y is 4y. Four, 4 times 1 is plus 4 equals 6y. Subtract 4y from both sides. 4 equals 2y. Divide by 2 on both sides. y equals 2. That is our answer. It looks like a is the correct answer. But I want to check that. So let's take a look. If y equals 2 then x over 2 equals 6. That means x would have to equal 12. Okay. Well, let's see on the other one. Does that work? 4 times 2 plus 1, plugging in 2 for y, is 4 times 3 or 12. x equals that. Yeah, that checks as well. So the correct answer is, in fact, a. Now, a second method I could take here, rather than do an algebraic solution, is I could have back solved given the answers. I could have plugged in the first y as 2, the first answer as my solution. So that would have been x over 2 equals 6, and I would have then said x equals, well, 12, right? And then I would have said 4 times y plus 1 equals 12, y plus 1 equals 12 divided by 4 or 3, y equals 2, and I would have come to the same answer. Okay, so a little bit of algebra there, but plugging in the answers sort of gets you started a little more quickly. Um, again, if the answer is one of the first ones you check, that works out pretty well. Number four, if f of x equals minus 2x plus 5, what is f of minus 3x equal to? Well, don't be confused that there's an x in the value for x, okay? That's uh, probably not something you're used to seeing, but let's take a look at that what is. It just means whatever that is, plug that in for the x in the function, okay? So f of negative 3x will be minus 2 times, well, we'll plug in minus 3x instead of a numerical value only, plus 5. Now we just need to distribute and simplify. Minus 2 times minus 3x is 6x plus 5. That's going to be our answer. Which answer is that? B is the correct answer for number 4.